Today, a bit of a change. Instead of making a project for you to build along, I was making a cover for this planter for my parents. Let's get on with it. As usual, I've used redwood for this project. It's denser than construction pine, ages into a fantastic bronzed colour. I knew what length the sides needed to be, so that's where we start here, measuring out and cutting blanks for the four sides of the box. These blanks then needed slimming down to make the pieces that I will glue up into panels. To get the depth right, from these blanks I cut three thinner panel pieces. The legs for the box will cover the jointing between the panels and help keep things square, just as I am squaring this off here. I now had a neat pile of parts cut. On with assembly. The legs are cut into length, which I did on my cross-cut sled. Here, they're a foot long. Next comes gluing up the panels. If you've seen my waste bin build, you'll know the disaster carrier bags turned out to be between the layers. Here I'm using kitchen towel as it works rather better and is easier to scrape off. Waterproof glue is used throughout this project. The clamping of this was a bit tricky. The side panels are thicker than for a bin and my clamp's not deep enough. I also had to use pretty much every small clamp I own to hold the battens in place to keep things flat. Thankfully, the next day unclamping was very easy. Some light planing and scraping to the surfaces was needed to tidy things up and remove the glue and paper. The legs needed shaping. Here I crept up on the best blade height before cutting each leg into an L-shaped profile. The panels needed trimming square and to even length for each opposing side. A wheel marking gauge is a marvellously easy thing to use. These markings are so I can cut the jointing out of each panel. The table saw makes a quick but clumsy first cut for each joint, but it's very easy. Once pre-cut, a coping saw can make fairly light work of the rest of the waste removal. Before assembly, sanding first with 80 grit and then 120 grit makes finishing work later much easier. Time for a Fintival! Yes, he's off up on the garage door again. I'm applying Danish oil as a finish. This stuff stinks, and it's prone to having applicators catch fire, hence the tinfoil tray. All the gloves and sponge live in there, between coats and after use, until it's all dried up. A quick test fit shows the box will work well. To fix the box together, I'm gluing into all the contact surfaces of the joint, and then following up with a few brads to keep things tight while the glue sets. Once ready, the legs need similar treatment to the corner joints, gluing and then nailing for security. I love gluing up, it's a great feeling on the fingertips. I sealed the bottoms of the legs with glue to prevent water ingress and rot in use. The coping for the top of the box is cut simply from construction battens. This is replaceable and cheap, one 2.4 metre length gave me more than I needed but the waste can be used elsewhere. With the pieces cut to length, it was time to mitre them to fit. My mitre sled proved less accurate than in the past, the rails having worn. These cuts later needed a fair bit of tidying on the cross-cut sled to work properly. Also, the wedges I made from off-cuts didn't work very well. Lessons learned. 
After final settling, the coping needs gluing together and securing to the box. I'm using dowels here to secure the coping to the box and the corners only. This means the coping is easily replaceable in the future. All the panels and the coping had two heavy coats of Danish oil before I handed over the finished project. <laughs> These mitred corners would not stay stuck together. I don't think the waterproof glue is anywhere near as effective as the normal stuff on end grain. Luckily, the dowels kept the joints in compression here. And here is the hated container, an old ceramic kitchen sink. I pulled out the sink so Mum could tidy up behind. Here are the plants that will be going in. I gave Mum the honour of being the first person to put the planter cover on. It was a bit tense. It might not have fitted. Good. Yes. A job well done. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching.